understanding signs of liver damage is crucial for maintaining overall health. While many associate liver issues solely with excessive alcohol consumption, there are various other factors, including diet, medication, viruses, and genetic predispositions that can contribute to liver damage. By recognizing these signs early on, individuals can take proactive steps to prevent further harm and promote liver health. Just a quick reminder, we are not medical doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Now, let's delve deeper into each sign to understand its underlying mechanisms and implications for liver health. Number one, pale stools. The color of stool is primarily influenced by the presence of bile, a digestive fluid produced by the liver. Bile contains bilirubin, a pigment derived from the breakdown of red blood cells. Under normal circumstances, bilirubin gives stool its characteristic brown color. However, when the liver is unable to produce or transport sufficient bile, stools may appear pale or clay-colored. This alteration in stool color can signify various liver disorders, including obstructive jaundice, hepatitis, or cirrhosis. Number two, night vision difficulty. Vitamin A, also known as retinol, plays a critical role in maintaining healthy vision, particularly in low light conditions. The liver is responsible for storing and releasing vitamin A, which is essential for the proper functioning of rod cells in the retina. Impaired liver function can disrupt the absorption and metabolism of vitamin A, leading to night vision difficulties or nyctalopia. This symptom may also indicate underlying liver conditions, such as alcoholic liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or liver cirrhosis. Number three, swollen right foot. Peripheral edema, characterized by swelling in the extremities, can occur as a result of liver dysfunction. The liver regulates blood flow and fluid balance in the body. When liver function is compromised, blood flow may become impaired, leading to fluid retention and swelling, particularly in the lower limbs. Observing unilateral swelling, with the right foot or ankle more affected than the left, may suggest hepatic congestion or portal hypertension, both of which are associated with liver disease. Number four, white eyelid growths. Xanthelasma, or cholesterol deposits, are small yellowish plaques that develop on the eyelids due to the accumulation of lipids, including cholesterol, beneath the skin's surface. While xanthelasma can occur in individuals with normal lipid profiles, its presence may also indicate underlying metabolic disorders, including dyslipidemia and liver dysfunction. Impaired liver function can disrupt lipid metabolism and contribute to the formation of xanthelasma, serving as a visual indicator of hepatic involvement. Number five, pressure on the right side. Hepatic discomfort or pressure on the right side of the rib cage may result from various liver-related issues, including gallbladder dysfunction, hepatic congestion, or inflammation. Thickening of bile and the formation of gallstones can obstruct the bile ducts, leading to discomfort or pain in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen. Additionally, hepatic congestion or enlargement can exert pressure on adjacent structures, causing discomfort or referred pain to the right shoulder region. Number six, purple and red spots. Petechiae and purpura are skin manifestations characterized by small red or purple spots caused by bleeding beneath the skin's surface. These cutaneous findings may result from impaired coagulation mechanisms associated with liver dysfunction. The liver synthesizes various clotting factors necessary for hemostasis and blood coagulation. In conditions such as liver cirrhosis or acute liver failure, reduced synthesis of clotting factors can predispose individuals to easy bruising and the development of petechiae or purpura. Number seven, cracked heels. Xerosis or dry skin, particularly on the soles and heels of the feet, can be a dermatological manifestation of liver disease. The liver plays a crucial role in maintaining systemic homeostasis, including the regulation of nutrient metabolism and the synthesis of essential proteins. Impaired liver function can disrupt the synthesis of proteins involved in skin health, leading to dryness, cracking, and scaling of the skin. 
Addressing the underlying liver pathology is essential for alleviating dermatological symptoms and restoring skin integrity. Number eight, persistent itching. Pruritus, or persistent itching, affecting the palms of the hands or soles of the feet is a common dermatological complaint associated with liver dysfunction. Bile acids produced by the liver and excreted into the gastrointestinal tract play a crucial role in lipid digestion and absorption. In conditions such as cholestasis, bile flow may be impaired, leading to the accumulation of bile acids in the bloodstream. Elevated serum bile acid levels can activate pruritogenic receptors in the skin, resulting in intense itching and discomfort. Number nine, white or clubbed nails. Terry's nails, characterized by a white discoloration of the proximal portion of the nail plate with a narrow band of normal pink color at the distal edge, can be a clinical manifestation of liver disease. Hepatic dysfunction can disrupt the normal nail bed vascularity and oxygenation, leading to alterations in nail color and morphology. Additionally, clubbing of the nails, characterized by bulbous enlargement and curvature of the fingertips, may occur in advanced stages of liver disease, reflecting underlying cardiopulmonary or hepatobiliary pathology. Number 10, dark urine. Dark urine, often described as tea-colored or cola-colored, can indicate the presence of bilirubinuria, the excretion of bilirubin in the urine. Bilirubin is a yellowish pigment derived from the breakdown of heme-containing compounds, such as hemoglobin, within red blood cells. Under normal circumstances, bilirubin is conjugated in the liver and excreted into the bile, ultimately eliminated in the feces. However, in conditions such as obstructive jaundice or hepatocellular injury, bilirubin metabolism may be impaired, leading to the accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin in the bloodstream and subsequent excretion in the urine. Number 11, yellowed skin, jaundice. Characterized by the yellowish discoloration of the skin, sclerae and mucous membranes is a hallmark feature of liver dysfunction. Hyperbilirubinemia, resulting from impaired bilirubin metabolism or excretion, leads to the deposition of bilirubin in various tissues, imparting a yellow hue to the skin and other structures. Jaundice may manifest in a progressive manner, starting with yellowing of the sclerae and eventually involving the skin and mucous membranes. Prompt evaluation and management of jaundice are essential to identify and address the underlying etiology, which may range from benign conditions to life-threatening liver diseases. Number 12, spider veins. Spider angiomas, or spider nevi, are cutaneous vascular lesions characterized by a central arteriole surrounded by smaller capillary branches resembling a spider's web. These benign lesions typically occur on the face, neck, upper trunk, and arms, and are more prevalent in individuals with liver disease. The pathogenesis of spider angiomas is thought to involve the dysregulation of estrogen metabolism and hepatic clearance. Elevated estrogen levels, secondary to impaired liver function, can dilate cutaneous blood vessels and predispose to the development of spider angiomas. Recognizing these signs and symptoms of liver damage is the first step toward promoting liver health and preventing further complications. Early intervention, including lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and medical management, can help mitigate liver damage and support liver regeneration. Consulting healthcare professionals for proper evaluation and management is crucial for individuals experiencing any of these indicators of liver dysfunction. Collaboration with healthcare professionals is essential to develop personalized strategies for optimizing liver function and preventing further complications. Keep in mind that we are not medical doctors, and this information should not be considered medical advice. This video is for informational purposes only. It is always best to check with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. They will know more about your individual condition. By subscribing to the Health Info Hub channel, you not only gain access to valuable insights, but also become part of a community committed to empowering individuals on their quest for a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below.
If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and X as well.